Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be trying new hair color from Strawberry Leopard. So they came out with a new collection and it is the neon collection. So they launched five new neon colors. I'm gonna swatch them today for you guys. We're also gonna use color remover to see if they come out of the hair. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna mention right now for a limited time only, you can buy my eyeshadow palette and you will get the makeup bag for free. So here's the makeup bag, it's holographic at the top. This is one side. Here's what the other side looks like. It is so cute. It's also super big, so you can store a lot of makeup in here. Here's the eyeshadow palette if you have not seen it. It is so beautiful. I use it literally 99.9% .9 of the time when I do my makeup. This is what I use. So rainbow on the outside. The inside is black goth vibes so beautiful all of these up here are tattoos that i have here are the colors inside the palette they are so beautiful i am wearing the colors on my eyes today you have bright colors we have duochrome we have neutrals we have two highlighters that you can also use as eyeshadow this right here is my favorite color this is a green and purple duochrome shift this color is perfect for halloween it's also beautiful on top of black lipstick literally any of these colors are so gorgeous on top of black lipstick. This highlighter is so beautiful and reflective. So right now we are running a deal where you can buy the palette, get the bag for free. So you can get both of these for $30. Or you can also just purchase the eyeshadow palette or the bag separately. If you already have the palette, but you want the bag, you can purchase this. I think it's like $10 with my coupon code. So I will leave a link to both of these in the description of the video, as well as in the pinned comment. And you can use code Aislinn at checkout to save you even more money. So let's get into the new shades from Strawberry Leopard. The first one is called In Pink Condition. The second one is called Orange Punch. Then we have In the Limelight and Neptune Baby. In the last shade we have is is ultraviolet so the only color we're missing here is a bright yellow like a bright neon yellow they already have a yellow that's already out there it's called you're my sunshine but it's not a neon it's like a sunshine yellow so this collection is definitely missing a yellow like came out with literally all the neon colors except for the yellow i don't know why hopefully they bring out a neon yellow and put it into the collection because honestly neon yellows are like some of my favorite favorite so i cannot wait i'll be waiting for them to release a neon yellow so these are obviously semi-permanent hair color let's open them i haven't even looked you guys you know how hard it was for me not to look at these okay here is what the pink is looking like it's definitely more of like a peachy pink so when i do rainbow hair i always grab a color like this and then i mix it with a darker pink like hot hot pink from manic panic i almost never put just this color on my hair because it's a little bit too much orangey especially if you're putting it on like yellow hair it can pull even more orange so i like to add some darker pink in there just to make it a deeper brighter pink and not so orangey pink here's the orange and honestly it's kind of lackluster this is a little lackluster for my liking. It's not, I don't know how to describe it. A lot of brands, and I'm saying a lot of brands, come out with neon hair color and it's not neon. It's more of like a pastel neon color. And that's what this is giving. It's giving very like pastel neon instead of like super, super intense dark bright neon you know what i'm saying there's a difference like lunar tides neons are insane they are neon they are electric they have so much pigment packed behind them whereas these are reminding me a lot of arctic fox's hair color there i don't remember the shade name of their orange but they have like an orange that's supposed to be neon it looks very similar to this it's more of like cool it's more of like a pastel orange and not like a super super dark pigmented orange we'll have to swatch it and see what it looks like but right now it's looking a little bit more on the lighter end um than what i prefer for when i'm doing like neon rainbow hair okay this is a lot different than i thought too this is what it looks like you guys it's more of like a money green versus a neon you guys see that it's like a darker green definitely not neon it will be brighter if you put it on like platinum yellow hair it will add to the darker color and make it like more of a neon but the color is the limelight and this to me is not giving lime it's definitely giving like a money darker green maybe i'm being too harsh maybe i'm being too harsh but i don't know i just had such high hopes based on the packaging and like the way these colors present on the bottle i was so excited and like based on the neon like colors right here in the word neon i was like really excited for this and you guys know i love neon hair like i love 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 some neon rainbow so i was really excited for these and as i'm opening them it's just they're just not hitting the way i thought they would like when lunar ties released their neon collection i was like oh 
Like you really said neon and delivered insanely bright neon hair color. They did such a good job on their neon collection. Honestly, I think that they have the best neon colors out of any other hair color company. Like their neons just don't compete with anybody else's. Okay, here is Neptune Baby. This one is, ooh, it's super dark blue. It's more of a cobalt blue. It does match the packaging. The packaging is a little bit brighter, but it's similar. I would say it's like the most similar that we've come across so far. Here is the purple. The purple um, is definitely ultraviolet. The color says ultraviolet. It's a bluey purple color. So I'm excited to swatch these. Let me set up the second camera angle and we will get going because I cannot wait to put these on hair and see what they look like once I have them spread out on some blonde hair. Okay, let's go in with the first shade, which is in pink condition. Make sure and apply a lot on here. Now I will say this pink is a lot brighter than other neon pink shades that I've seen. This one is definitely more in the middle. It's not like super, super orangey, but personally, if I was gonna use this on myself, I would definitely just add like some hot, hot pink or like a cool toned pink that has a blue undertone. Like I said, it does have a lot more pigment behind it than a lot of other neon colors that I've tried. The next shade is the orange punch. This is the one that I felt like was pretty disappointing when I opened it. So let's go ahead, you see that? That's giving nothing. It's giving peach, not neon. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being mean or like I'm being too harsh and I'm not trying to. When it comes to like neon colors, I feel like I'm just, maybe I'm just super, super picky because I've used so many different neon rainbow colors. Going in with the green. This was one that was super dark. So see how dark that is? This green is really, really pretty. It is like a true green. Like when I think of Roy G. Biv, this is the type of green I think of. It's just like a true, true green color. These greens, depending on what you're putting it on, can go very lime and neon based on the undertones. If I put this color on the back of my head where it's more yellow, it's gonna be more lime. If I put it up here where it's more white, it's gonna be more of this like darker neutral colored green. The outcome of these really do depend on like what you're putting them on. Let's go in with the blue and this blue looked to be very dark. Yeah, look at that, that's super dark. So this one is super, super pigmented. Again, if you put this on hair that has a lot of yellow undertones, you are gonna get more of that aqua effect. Whereas if you put it on hair that's been pre-toned and it's like white, you're gonna get more of that true blue color. Going in with the last color, which is the purple. This one, I'm also curious about. Yeah, see, it looks definitely more of a bluish, purple than a pink purple. Personally, when I like to do rainbows, I like my rainbow um, purple color to be more of that pinky purple or at least neutral. I don't like it to be too blue. This is looking more of like an indigo color and it also looks very dark, but somehow looks kind of like it's coloring the hair gray. So we'll see what this looks like when we wash it out. This is like, you know, when you rinse out swatches, it could be anything. You never know what you're gonna get until you rinse out the swatch, but so far I'm not really loving this purple color. This is definitely my least favorite color out of the bunch. Definitely, definitely my least favorite color. Okay, you're supposed to leave it on 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it on 25 minutes at room temperature, rinse using cool water so that way the colors don't bleed, and then we're gonna see what they look like. Right off the bat, I do have some thoughts about them. I feel like when you're coming out with a whole new collection, the collection should kind of be cohesive. Like it's a collection of neons, but some colors are neon, some colors are not neon. Some of them are super, super dark. Some of them are more pastel. I just feel like the colors don't look like a collection. So we'll see what they look like when they're rinsed. Like I said, the undertones and the swatches could definitely contribute to the end result. So I'll see you guys in just a second and we will see if these are pretty or if we still don't like them very much. <laughs> they smell great. They smell amazing. I'll say that. We are back and the results honestly shocked me a little bit. Before I show you, I forgot to mention, you guys have been asking about my eyelashes and what eyelashes I wear. These are also from Spoiled. They're in the shade named Needy. I will leave these links in the description down below. I've been getting a lot of comments about them recently, so I forgot to mention that. Now let me show you the results. Okay, here they are. What do you guys think? I am actually so impressed with a lot of these colors. Real quick, I forgot to take a video on my phone when I was filming because this camera lighting is not giving it justice. So here's a video I took on my phone after filming. Here's what they look like on my phone. I normally take a video on my phone and I didn't. Um, that camera is just so like over like lightened. So it's hard to show the actual colors, but this pink is so pretty. This orange, it's 
It shows up a lot darker on camera than it is in person. It's definitely a little bit more pastel than what you're seeing here. This is the green. This blue is so pretty, but I just don't think that's purple. That doesn't look purple to me at all. This pink is so beautiful. Again, it's a little bit more orangey tone than what I would like, but it is very, very beautiful on its own. It's definitely neon. Super, super pretty. I am loving this neon pink color. I think it's so well done. The vibrancy is there. They added enough pigment to it. Love that color. The orange is definitely the lackluster shade out of the bunch. I definitely feel like it's lacking pigment. It's just not quite that vivid neon color that I was hoping it would be. Definitely a little bit diluted and I wish there was more pigment and it packed more of a punch like the pink did. The green, oh my God, that green is so, so beautiful. Some neon greens go too heavy on the yellow undertone. This one is not like that at all. This, I think this is like a perfect neon green color. I would probably add just a little bit of neon yellow into it because it is a little bit darker, but it is a true neon. It is very, very pretty. The depth is there. It's a gorgeous shade. This blue color shocked me, you guys. I actually love this blue color. I think it pairs really well with the other colors here. It's not too dark. It looks a little scary coming out of the bottle, but it's definitely not as dark as you think it would be. It's very, very pretty. It's just dark enough and just light enough. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue color. I would definitely use that on my hair when I do rainbow. And going to the last shade, which is the ultraviolet purple color. This color is definitely my least favorite. Again, I think it's just personal preference. I don't really like purples that have this undertone to them. I don't think it goes well with these ones. It's too similar to the blue. I think a purple that was a little bit pinkier and not so dark would have went better with this shade range. I just feel like this is a little bit too similar to the blue and it just looks a little bit too blue in general. So here are the colors overall. I'm actually super impressed. I was talking that ish and that's why you wait until you rinse because they can shock you once you rinse them off. And these definitely did shock me. Definitely would not use the orange or this purple color. I just don't like these two. If I used this one, I would add a brighter orange into it because it's a little bit too pastel and this is gonna fade out of your hair so fast. This orange right here, I can tell it's gonna fade out pretty quickly. So I went ahead, mixed up some color remover. We have Danger Jones color remover and 10 volume here. I'm gonna apply this halfway down and we're gonna see if these come out of the hair. All right, here's what they look like with the white background. So there's what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color remover halfway down. Okay, I'm already seeing this blue color starting to turn aqua. You guys can see down here, it's kind of getting a little bit greenish on the ends. I'm gonna cover these up and let them process and then I will be right back to show you guys the finished result and we can see if these do come out of the hair or if they stain pretty bad. All right, you guys, I am back. Let me show you how well the color came out of the hair. Here are the swatches. You can see that a lot of the colors did fade. The blue and the green definitely are the two that did not fade the most. If you faded this out a lot before using the bleach based color remover, I feel like they would come out of the hair a lot easier, especially the pink, the orange, and the purple. If you faded those a lot and then did color remover, I think they would come out of the hair beautifully. I'm not really sure the green or the blue would come out fully even if you use the color remover, but these three shades seem pretty optimistic, so I would definitely use these three in my hair, I would feel comfortable enough that they would come out. These two, again, they just didn't come out enough for me to feel comfortable to use those on my hair. But here's what they look like up close. This one almost went totally back blonde. Like this over here is blonde. So that did actually a really good job at removing the color. This one lightened a lot and the orange also lightened. Not a lot, but it did lighten. So there's what they look like. Overall, I am pleasantly surprised. I was very pessimistic at first. Seeing the colors in the in the bottle, I was like very disappointed. Seeing them on the swatches completely changed my vision and my mood about the colors. I think they're really pretty. I wish they would have came out with the yellow. How are you gonna do the whole rainbow except for yellow? Like yellow is such a showstopper with rainbow. So I wish they would have done yellow. And if you're gonna use the orange, I would add a darker orange into it. So that way you get more longevity and a better color pair. Off. I will leave a link to these in the description down below in case you want to go check them out. They're available in store and online at Sally Beauty. So I will leave a link to these in the description down below. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Uh -huh.